obviously a very scary moment uh, with Masahiro Tanaka, and you know how, how terrible that situation is personally. How is that for you? Um, how are you feeling? And, and just talk to me about if you have talked uh, to Tanaka. Uh, that, that was a scary moment um, uh, for me. Terrible initially, of course. Um, uh, you never want to see your teammate on the ground, especially uh, by by the hand of yourself. So, um, yeah, I've talked to him. Um, he uh, appears to be fine, you know, for given the circumstance. So, um, my stance really is: uh, as long as he's okay, I'm okay. You know, uh, that's uh, um, uh, a scary thing and something that. Um, I think we, we really dodged something uh, that could have been a lot worse. So I, I'm just happy that uh, he's okay and um, that, um, you know, ho hopefully get past that quick to, to get him feeling um, back to normal. Giancarlo, we saw how distraught you were. You just all of us were. What is that moment like? Um, really, I mean, as fast as it happens, it's more s slow mo, I'd say, for. Uh, I, uh, for for me, you know, you see it slow mo. You you want that ball to to keep veering off, and um, and and it didn't. So uh, kind of like um, when I got hit, you know, it's a, everything's kind of in slow mo. Um, you go look how fast it all happened later, but um, uh, at the end of the day, it's just g glad that he was awake and um, and uh, functioning and responsive right off the bat and. Um, uh, throughout the, the evening and the next day and today. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm. We can take the next question from Pete Caldera. Pete, if you can unmute, we can ask you your question. Hi, hey, John Carlo, thank you. Um, just uh, wonder if you could uh, go through your decision to participate in that uh, MLB players camp in Palm Beach and, and what it was like. I mean, did you hit against guys like uh, Kluber and Scherzer or uh, Verlander? Uh, no, I, I wasn't. Uh, I wasn't part of that game. Actually, uh, I, uh, I I was down there working out with them, um, but I wasn't part of that specific uh, game that's been reported. Uh, but uh, it, it was cool being down there, um, getting working, and and um, you know seeing a, a diverse group of guys um, all, all going to different camps and um, getting ready in their own their own aspect. A lot of a lot of respectable guys there. Next question from Eric Boland. Eric, if you can unmute. <clears throat> Hi, John Carlo. Thanks for thanks for coming in today. Um, can you just give us an idea of how long your calf has felt? Uh, you know, 100 percent or close to 100 percent, where you're not limited in anything that you're that you're doing. Um, uh, it's been been pretty recent of of 100 percent. Um, so. Uh, Gonna gonna go through camp. Make sure uh, the you got the schedule lined up um, to to be ready to DH and uh, uh, go from there. You know, um, the, it's the, with the season being so short. This is really a one kind of one stop shop of of getting it right. So uh, um, I think we have a good schedule down and um, a good uh, formula to to get it right. Thank you. Next question, please, from Brendan Cuddy. B, go ahead, unmute. Giancarlo, thank you for taking the time today. Mm -hmm. um, on Sunday, reportedly, there was no tester present for your guys' coronavirus tests. Could you take us through what it was like on Sunday? Was, was there confusion? Was it weird? You had to spit in your own cup? And what has testing been like in general here as an experience for you guys? Um, where are we at? Um, I, I believe we've gotten tested every other day as scheduled. Um, I, I have gotten tested every other day, so I don't know. Uh, I don't know. Um, I can't really speak on, on that, but there wasn't a tester here. Uh, the, how we were scheduled, uh, how I am was scheduled along with everyone else. I believe that the it's gone to protocol. And what has that experience been like? Is it weird getting used to it? Yeah, weird, uh, odd, all, all, uh, uh, all those uh, 
those words for it, but um, uh, you got to understand that's what that's what has to happen. That's what um, needs to go on in order for for this year to progress. So um, yeah, it's, it's odd, um, out of the norm, uh, but what needs to happen? Thank you. Take the next question from James Wagner. James, if you can unmute, please. Hey, Jim Carlo. Hope you and the family are doing well. Um, just wanted to ask, I know that you and some of your teammates had posted about this stuff last, last month. I mean, you know, racial injustice in this country, uh, Black Lives Matter, things that change. What has felt differently to you in baseball about kind of this movement? You see a lot of players that maybe didn't talk about these things before are talking about it now. And, and does it feel different? Uh, and you hopeful that it will, I guess, even within the clubhouse, kind of spark something? Yeah, yeah. I mean, uh, it, it feels... It feels different uh, to to the fact that um, uh, more li more will listen now. I mean, I feel like the doors uh, been opened um, that uh, should have been opened a long time ago. But um, yeah, I mean, we we we've always talked about it amongst ourselves. Uh, you know, the 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 cities where we hear. Um, things that we shouldn't in the outfield. You know, I know a lot of guys, uh, Adam Jones specifically, uh, that has spoken out and has had um, public uh, um, instances go on about it. But um, yeah, I mean, now now's the time to to uh, let it be known that this this needs to stop and um, that we, we got to be a face. We got to um, be the the outlet. Um, to, to get the information out there and show that uh, to lead the force. Next question from Christy Ackert. Christy, go ahead. Hi, Giancarlo. I'm just wondering, you said you have the schedule lined up for you to be able to DH. Do you feel that the calf would allow you to play in the outfield at all this season, or is that something you're just going to wait on for the next year? Uh, yeah, I do. I do. Um, but uh, to start uh, the DH is the plan. Thank you. We'll take a couple more. George King, New York Post. Georgie, you want to give it a whirl? John Carlo, you there? Mm -hmm. Yes. What would have to happen for you to decide that this is not really going to go forward for yourself and opt out? Um, uh, I, I can't answer that for you. I mean, something crazy would have to happen, um, in the clubhouse and, uh, in the country. I don't know. I mean, this is all new territory for us. So, um, there, there's uncertainty, um, in, in all the sports, there's uncertainty with a lot of things, but. We're, we're here, we're, we're doing, we're going by the protocols we need and that uh, line ourselves up to be successful for this year. So um, as long as we can keep to that and nothing crazy happens, then um, I, think, I think we'll be all right. 